3RW with Dennis Walter. This is exciting. More new music from Delta Goodrum and, but wait, there's more, and a book as well. Friday, she released the album and book Bridge Over Troubled Dreams. I'm going to play some of the album shortly. But with technology, Delta's in Sydney, I'm in Geelong. Delta Goodrum, welcome back to 3AW. Thank you so much, Dennis. It's always lovely to talk to you. Um, how lucky are your fans? They don't not only get an album, but they get a book, uh, a book as well. How, do, how does this all work? How does it intertwine? Well, it's it's really one. Both of them go together. They uh, they were kind of seeded from the same place of sharing stories that I hadn't shared before. So it was about about every single song that I wrote had a very deep concept and, and a conversation about different parts of my life. So it only made sense that outside of the studio that I would continue to kind of write those stories down and say, well, this is a shared experience. I'm going to make an album booklet, but it's obviously a coffee table booklet and go back to that tactile feeling of when you love music, you can take home the book and read about the songs and why they were written, what they're about. So it's a really beautiful connection between the music and the stories. Did it was it difficult to to sort of go back to particular parts of your life and and sort of um, relive? I guess there would be parts of this that are uh, not full of um, happiness and joy, but uh, there'll be all different emotions. Well, it's funny because by nature I'm extremely open in person, and I think that I've always been open to sharing my lessons that I've learnt, and and I and I love kind of having that uh, sharing with people when I'm when I'm face to face. But I think that deep diving into them was actually very cathartic more more than I even realized and in the moments that I start to think oh goodness these vulnerabilities and these moments that I've gone through I'm kind of sharing in the in both the songs and the books but then you've you've got to remember why you do it and you do it because there is somebody listening right now or there was somebody who listens to the music or reads it that genuinely is going through something that you have gone through and that's at the end of the day the intention of music the that feeling of of why are we why are we all here that human connection and that's and that's always what I remind myself when I kind of go into the strength in the vulnerabilities and and wearing my heart on my sleeve how much how much of this do you think came about because of covid well, actually, a lot of the songs were written before COVID, but I but I mm-hmm. did finish it during the pandemic. But 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 before um, we went into that, that really was about going to the reset of when I went through uh, losing my speech from nerve damage, and that quiet time of just listening and going back into my you know from the very beginning of my life and writing down my stories from how did I get here and, and having that check-in moment. So then when the pandemic happened, I realized, oh, maybe it all happens for a reason, as I do believe, and everyone's going through this reset. So um, I kind of continued that isolating moment, <laughs> but, but in a different way. <laughs> uh, this is just the concept of the book with the music mm. is, I think, a first. Uh, yeah. And it gives, a, it gives a completely different sort of experience to the... Mm. The person can not only listen to the songs, but they can read in depth at how, how they came about, which is a lovely thought. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you always try your very best to kind of get to the core truth of a song and still make it catchy. And as you know, and you you have only a short amount of time, a verse, a chorus, then a verse, then the same chorus. So whilst you're trying to sum up everything in in a song – There's so many trains of thought and conversations either with somebody you're in the room writing with or by yourself. And and so it made sense to kind of expand on the reasons behind each line of of this record because it felt like I was being a lot more open and a lot more literal than I had been before. What about the writing experience? Did it come easy? No, I don't think so. I I think every album is so different and the writing experience was – just back to basics. It was really about shoes off at the piano, you know, pretty much staying in my pajamas <laughs> most days, just spending time with my beautiful white piano I, I had in the, in the corner of a room where the sunlight would hit on it in the afternoon. And, and I would honestly just, you know, spend a lot of time just at the instrument rather than going to the computer and trying to find a beat or anything. I just kept saying these these have to be good enough as a bare bone song to to feel like I if you were to say who are you, I could say to you, Yeah, this is about owning my own story as an artist right now. And that's where and, I'm at. And it'll continue to change as time goes on. But right this second I wanted to have a look back and say, Okay, this is how I feel about the world and What about um what about the actual the writing of the book part? Is that did that come easy? 
Well, I had already done so much preparation in the songwriting, so I had already had so much written. And, I, and in my head, this was a book and album experience. And and then obviously bringing them live at the end of the year to the tour. But this really was about, like, it was kind of a, all in one for me. So it seemed quite natural. Uh, all of My Friends, the single, yes. tell us a little bit about that. And uh, it's a very emotional and a heartfelt one. Yeah, this one was definitely written through tears, missing home. I was just having one of those moments when you're away from home working and and you have that conversation about balance and thinking of my, you know, my beautiful niece and nephew, I was missing them and my my mum and dad and and my friends and just kind of thinking of that, you know, the people who really know you and, and know your heart and soul and you know, know all the, the craziness of you too and just kind of sitting there going, oh, I just, I was having a real moment and I loved that lyric of, um, uh, I know I'm fine here on my own, but all of my friends are back home. And I just sort of having all those, uh, those feelings of missing home. It's one of those weird things, isn't it? It's, and only performers understand that if you, you, you wait all day to, to go on stage yeah. um, at night and yeah. then it, 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 all the perhaps drudgery of the day or the travelling to get to wherever you've got to get to or the sound checks and everything that you might have Conserving to do Conserving your energy, like yep. being quiet so that you can be the best performer you can be. It's, it's a thing an athlete. then it's all worth it. Yeah, and it is. And that's the thing about musicians. I, you know, I was speaking to someone recently and I was like, to be in the music industry, you have to passionately love music. You have to dearly, deeply love it for it to be a drive that you, you know, continue because the moments are worth it when they when they come around, but they're not all the time. But when they come around, you're like having that special show, seeing people sing back in an audience. There's nothing like it. It's it's very it's it's a whole other resonation that is very special. Well, the tour is coming in October or September, October, uh, Rod Laver Arena, uh, tickets at Ticket Tech. The single is available right now. That's all of my friends. And the album and book, Bridge Over Troubled Dreams. You've been very busy, but congratulations. Thank you, Dennis. You are the best. Thank you so much. And here comes here comes the single, All of My Friends, Delta Group. I couldn't sleep last night and every time I tried I saw the faces I was missing. Been chasing dreams since I was